Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. Today, we'll be finally testing out the win later Bionic Ludashi on my low end Android device with a Mali GPU. So, right here is my Redmi K50i, which has only 6 GB of RAM, out of which only 1.8 GB is actually available. This device has a Mali G16 GPU, and we have tried out various Windows emulators on this Android device, and none of them managed to work properly. Now, in my recent videos, you might have seen that I have crowned the win later Bionic Ludashi as the best Windows emulator for Android of 2025. Finally, the Mali GPU test is here but before getting started I want to thank each and every single one of you guys because we managed to hit 150,000 subscribers on this channel it really means a lot to me our goal is to become the biggest emulation channel worldwide and I need your help so make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification let's jump right into our today's video before we start I think the win later bionic Ludashi project has been discontinued because the entire project has been archived on github regardless we'll be using the latest build of this emulator released on June 23, 2025 and this is definitely one of the best optimized windows emulators of all time. With that being said, I have already added this emulator on my Mali GP Android device so let's start setting it up right away. When you open it for the first time, you'll need to wait until all the assets have been set up. Afterwards, tap on OK and make sure to enable this option. Once that's done, here we go, our windows emulator has successfully launched. To start setting this up on our Mali GP Android device, we'll go to settings afterwards, box 64 preset and choose performance. As usual, duplicate it after a tap on ok and make sure to set the safe flex level to zero and simply tap on the tick mark option once that has been done make sure to tap on these three lines and create a brand new windows emulator container where resolution make sure to set it to 854 by 480p wine version will be the latest proton x86 here is the most important part in terms of graphics driver we'll be using the system graphics driver but you can also use the snapdragon graphics driver if you have a snapdragon processor for example 25.1.0 turnip driver. Now I am not sure how well will this work but with the help of wrapper graphics driver you guys can use the DX wrapper as DXVK instead of Wine D3D which is usually used with Virgil graphics driver. Wine D3D does not support DirectX 10, 11, 12 games so DXVK is the best and in terms of version we'll be going with the 2.3.1 default or if you want better compatibility you can also go with asynchronous 1.10.3 and enable asynchronous. Once that has been done audio driver will set it to pulse audio. In terms of DD draw slash glide wrapper it is selected as Wine D3D. Keep it as default. Enable show FPS, enable full screen, scroll down and video memory size set it to 4 GB. Graphics driver you will need to set it as GTX 1070. So here simply choose this. After scroll to the right go to advanced here make sure to select the performance preset that we just created. Everything else can be kept as default. Simply tap on the tick mark option and our windows emulator container will be successfully created in win later bionic ludashi. Next step will be to simply tap on the play button and now we'll start our gameplay test by checking out if our graphics are working and also seeing how much fps can we get while emulating few pc games on my mali gpu android device there we go our windows emulator has successfully booted to start off go to the start section afterwards go to direct text sample go to direct text 9 and make sure to choose the first option and the second option to see if the graphical output is working so here i have launched the first option but as you guys can see Nothing is actually happening so we'll go to DirectX 9 once again, try out the x64 version and there we go, the graphical output is actually working, the 3D stuff is being rendered and we are getting about 460 FPS which is not that bad but compared to the Snapdragon 8 Elite device which I have which gives me 2000 FPS by the way, this is chump change obviously because this is a low end Android device, regardless we don't really need to do anything else, we can start testing our PC games right away. So the first game that I'll be trying out is going to be the Assassin's Creed grade 1 the original assassin's creed game and unfortunately we had some sort of sound card error for some reason let's just go ahead and try launching it but you will be able to see due to the sound card issue so i'll just go ahead and exit the game we'll restart our container and try out the original assassin's creed game once again let's hope it works this time if it doesn't work then we'll move on towards our next game which is grand theft auto 4 but as you guys can see we did not get any error messages pop up but unfortunately the game did not launch it just crashed as you guys can see i have double tapped and launched assassin's creed but the game keeps on closing let's try out the direct text 10 version of assassin's creed to see if it works or not and unfortunately it has the same case so i don't think this game is going to work 
but let's try out our next game which is actually super stable and this is one of the best games that you can play on Mali GPU Android devices. Now do note this is just the setup, best settings and normal gameplay video. If you want a full in-depth gameplay video where I test out 5 to 10 games on my Mali GPU Android device then do let me know in the comment section down below. Let's hit 300 likes on this video and I'll make it possible. Anyways I have double tapped on GTA 4 but unfortunately it seems that the game is not launching for some reason. It might be because of the DX wrapper which we are using. So as you guys can see once I launch the GTA 4, the game loads into the memory but unfortunately it stops once again. So we'll go back, we'll tap on exit, we'll go to edit, we'll change the DX wrapper to back to 2.3.1. Let's go to box 64 preset and here I'll choose the compatibility option just for Assassin's Creed's sake. We'll try both of those games once again. So here I have launched the Assassin's Creed one last time and let's see if our game boots with a different DirectX wrapper. But no, unfortunately it crashes once again. Let's try out Grand Theft Auto 4 one last time. If it doesn't work, unfortunately none of the games are booting on my Mali GPU Android device. Obviously we can change the DX wrapper to Wine D3D and here in GTA 4 we got GTA 4 fatal error issue D3D error. So obviously there is some issue with the graphical output that's why these games are not working. Let's tap on the exit button, let's go to edit and DX wrapper will set it as Wine D3D here. But in terms of graphics driver, we don't really have the Virgil option. So let's try it out one last time. And yeah guys, there is no support for graphics inside the system graphics driver which we are using. So none of these games are actually working. DirectX 9 graphics test actually worked with proper graphical output. So I'm really unsure why the games are giving a D3D issue and not booting up. So unfortunately, Winlater Bionic Glipsy is not supported for Mali GPU Android devices. That's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.